Hello. Look at that. So, I've waited for this. It's um, two things I like. Royal Mile whiskies and Clinfarkles. Okay. So it's a 1995 vintage. That's not yesterday. I think, I think it works out at about 28 years old, which is awful old. And um, Glenfarclas, just to put you in the picture, it's one of the few family-owned distilleries in Scotland. And um, you don't have to be a family-owned distillery to make good whisky. It just sounds and feels right. So that's a good thing, isn't it? Um, here, I'm going to expect from uh, an old Glenfarclas lots of the classic sherry cask notes. Because really, weren't sherry casks put on earth to be filled with Glenfarclas? I think so. There's other great distilleries that uh, do so very well with sherry casks, but for me, the, the two things, sherry cask and Glenfarclas, they're, they're kind of synonymous. So, uh, on the nose. Um, yeah, it's great. You know, it's it's what I would hope for. You know, the um, the, the richness, it's, it's such a welcoming, warming, autumnal kind of uh, aroma that uh, sherry casks are my favourite. Um, that leads you on to what you're going to expect on the palate. You know, don't want to use the word Christmas cake, but if it's appropriate, I will use it. Well, it's full bodied, it's round, it's rich. It's definitely a bit of a treat. I hope you get to at least taste one, hopefully uh, even own one. But um, it, it's something that I can uh, recommend to sherry cast lovers. Christmas cake.